Resident Evil is back. 14 months after the incredible Resident Evil 2 remake was released, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis has been remade, titled simply Resident Evil 3. The game is set in the same universe as Resident Evil 2, set in the American Midwest in a place called Raccoon City. The city is overrun by a biological threat called the T-Virus. However, Resident Evil 3 illustrates the outbreak and conclusion of the incident. You take control of Jill Valentine, a member of the specialist squad of the police force known as STARS. STARS are tasked with investigating a pharmaceutical company called Umbrella. They have determined that the T-Virus is a biological weapon and Umbrella are behind it all, losing several team members in the process. It is up to Jill and the other remaining members of STARS to get this truth out into the world, though the police department are found to be under Umbrella's way, making this task almost impossible especially since she is constantly chased by a monster zombie which has been dispatched to stop her, called the Nemesis T-Type. Resident Evil 3 is a survival horror which will have you constantly in fear and relentlessly chased by the undead horde. The city is in ruins and there's chaos everywhere. Now the backstory is out of the way, it's time to dive into the top 7 tips for beginners to Resident Evil. You have to scavenge. For newcomers to the series, there's an element to the game that is almost mandatory. You have to scavenge and take your time. You can speedrun, sure, but I suggest you play the game first and take it all in, because not only is this game worth it, but the perks of scavenging are definitely there. Look around on desks, use your flashlight to find things, you never know what you will find which may come in useful later on down the line, such as gunpowder to make ammo, or green herb to give you health. Notes and pieces of paper are vital in this game. Don't just pick up a piece of paper and flick through it, there will be clues to help you proceed onto the next part of the game. I cannot show you explicit examples as that would be cheating, but trust me, you will need to read the notes left around the city. It's f***ing scary. This game is scary. Not hide behind the pillow kind of scary, but this is shit your pants kind of scary. You'll often find yourself saying f*** off, f*** off, f*** off, f*** off, f*** off, because you're being chased by a big ass rodent and you have no ammo left and you're low on health and you cannot see where you're going. It's a real adrenaline boost, especially during jump scares, and there's a lot of them. You'll often find yourself going, oh my god, where did you come from? Or, what I thought, I thought I killed your ass. Yes, you got to make sure the zombie is dead, as sometimes you think they're dead, then boom, your zombie food. So utilize headshots and look at your downed zombies. Make sure they're dead. It's dark. Following on from the last two points, Resident Evil 3 is dark. Very dark. It's designed to act like a horror movie. It's designed to make you jump. The game is designed in this way to make you feel scared. It's forcing you to scavenge and pay attention to what's around you. So please don't go cheating and turn up the brightness. It just ruins the fun for both you and the game. Like your parents used to say, if you're not going to play properly, don't play at all. So play it in the dark. Literally, play it in the dark. At night, curtains drawn, 5.1 surround sound, and turned up loud. Thank me later. You're just a beginner, but you want to experience it in the right way. Playing 5.1 surround sound. Which leads me on perfectly to point number four. I suggest you play in 5.1 surround sound if you can that is, to make the most of things. The game is so much more enjoyable. It makes the game that much more jumpy. You feel your heart start to beat faster, the creepy music sets in, and you know something's around the corner, but you don't want to go around there, but you have to, but you don't want to get scared. That's the sign of an immersive game. You'll hear everything. You'll hear the bumps and the cracks in the house. You'll hear things being knocked over. you hear a distant zombie. Uh, uh. You'll be in Raccoon City. Pay attention. As I stated earlier in the video, you'll have to read, read and read again. These notes help you push the story along and help you understand it better. Plus there's clues left in these notes to help you find things. I'm being cagey because I don't want to give too much away. This is a game that relies on things not being spoiled. The payoff is better for it. You don't even have to know about previous Resident Evil games to play it. Just pay attention to the opening cutscene and you'll be up to speed. Also, look around and pay attention to what's around you. There will be things that can help you, but you won't see it unless you stop and look around. Corners are also something you should keep an eye on. A zombie could be waiting for you. Pay attention to your character quips. There'll be tips on how to achieve certain things. Again, I know I'm being cagey. I have to. We want you to have as much of an ex enjoyable experience playing this fantastic game as we did. Just pay attention to the game. No mobile phone next to you. No Twitter. No Facebook. Just you and Resident Evil 3. RPG elements. You'll need to combine things. This is kind of like an RPG element to the game. You can combine almost anything. Again, the game is trying to help you succeed. Before I ever played a Resident Evil game, this did frighten me a little and confuse me, 
but it's simple and the game helps you understand the best way to do things. You can combine health items, gun items and other general items to help you along the way. You'll pick up something and it's missing something else, so you've got to go and scavenge and pay attention to the notes and find the other part. See how all these different elements are combining to help create a long lasting game? That's what makes Resident Evil games so much more rewarding and replayable. There is a lot to do. Use your map. Lastly, use your map. It is a godsend. In Resident Evil 3, the map will help you see things you've missed. It will help you scavenge. It even encourages scavenging. The map is shown red if you haven't looked hard enough. It will show blue when you pick everything up. However, things like bits of paper or notes you'll have to look around for on your own. They don't affect the map. So there you have it. I hope you can take these tips and go out there into Raccoon City and save mankind. Note, don't play on hardcore first, it is hard. Don't make the same mistake I did, you'll be screaming at the TV for days. Are you a Resident Evil veteran and have any tips for the beginners out there? Let us know your tips in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, share and get saving Raccoon City.